Hey guys, it's Dave. And Lauren. And today we're going to be opening up a uh, an item I got in the mail from a fellow YouTuber. I got a message from my, our buddy Lewis over at iSpy0099. Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And I know when I did that first um, Funko Pop haul video, so basically my first uh, video dealing with Funko Pops, I said that I didn't foresee myself doing too many of these videos because that first haul I spent so much money and grabbed so many of them that I didn't think there was gonna be that many more that I would be grabbing on a regular basis. Obviously, as you guys can tell, if you guys are following the channel, that went out the door or out the window um, really quickly. Um, this addiction has obviously taken uh, over and I've been uh, spending a lot of time and money and resources to go out there and get some of these. Really cool YouTube channel. The link is down below. He just recently got into posting some Funko Pops, got into collecting. And uh, for the past couple of uh, months, you know, he emails me once in a while and to get my opinion on certain Pops that he finds out there. and. Uh, wants to know, you know, if you should grab him or not. Um, so he hit me up recently and said he had something coming our way. So let's get it and check it out. Again, it's Lewis over at iSpy0099. Thanks again, Lewis. You didn't have to send anything. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get into it and see what it is. All right, so we got a note here from Lewis. It says, hey, Dave, so here she is. The very elusive pop. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I will surprise you when I take it out. I hope you like her. As I mentioned, I was pretty lucky to come across a couple of them, so I am more than happy to share the wealth. I threw in a couple other goodies. Uh, another item, I don't want to say it yet, we'll take it out, is for Lauren. Something else is for Ashley. Something obviously he said for me. And something else here, I can't read what he wrote, I, I can't make it out. Um, but he said it's for Kathy. Oh, wow. Thanks for inspiring me to start collecting pops, even if it can be frustrating at times. Yes. Yes, it can be. And thanks for always answering my questions. Keep up the great work as it is greatly appreciated. Sincerely, Lewis, again, at iSpy0099. Really awesome guy. He's one of the YouTubers that actually started following us when we first started and we had interactions with. He does a lot of, um, I think he was in the military or some form of the military and he has a lot of stuff where he does a lot of um reviews of a lot of camping items uh uh military like um knives and gun you know a lot of awesome stuff and now he got into the pops i used to just like watching his stuff because it's stuff that i'm not it's a little bit out of my realm um i don't do anything with any type of knives or guns or anything like that and it's cool seeing how things work and when he reviews stuff there's some stuff that he he reviewed some cool like camping canister Oh, I found what it was now. It was a while. It was a couple months ago, and it had like all these traps and compartments and stuff. And it was like this big, but you could have like so much stuff in it. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. If we ever, if we ever get to camping. I'm scared. We're scared. Of, we were in Pennsylvania. A bear worked all right. Backyard. So let's get into this. So, uh, okay, I see. Okay, so this is the item for you. It is a, um, what are they called? The survival bracelets. You know, like the uh, lanyard. Yeah, it's like if you you know if you get stuck somewhere, you could use this as rope or something. Seriously? Something like that. So that's pretty cool. And it's got a Tinkerbell uh, little character on that. So that's what I said for you. Tinkerbell. You gonna put it on? That's pretty cool. Okay, this is the one he got, he made for Ashley. Not for Aww, Ashley here. That's cute. It's got Hello Kitty on it, and it's a nice pink and white. That's awesome. Where Thanks, is Lewis. The Disney? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Batman with the black and yellow Batman colors. That's pretty awesome. I will definitely rock that on the keychain. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's another keychain one. Oh, I like that. Mika, but that's pretty cool. I like the color on that. Here you go. Yay! Here you go. All right, and then for the main uh, thing here now, um, we all by this point know my frustrations with Walgreens. I think. Uh, most of everybody uh, agreed with me in my little rant video a couple weeks ago, and a few delicate few that um, uh, virgin ears must have been bleeding when they heard my foul mouth and how dare I say something bad about Funko. 
Um, a few people get upset. Somebody said that he was spitting a lot. Oh, that was just funny. That was. And I said, hey, spit happens. The what? When, you know when Daddy talks really fast because he's mad about something, he tends to have saliva. Hey, I left it in there. I don't care. Unedited. And I said, hey, spit happens. That wasn't even the guy. That guy, that was funny. No, it's I It's all know. the other idiots. But anyway. Some people couldn't believe Daddy had bad things to say about Funkos. Yeah, and, and again. That's not what his point was. My point was not that. The, the, the people that get it, got it. They understood my point. I don't know point. anything about Funko Pops, and I got it. Yeah. Just from being around you. Yeah, I mean, the quick recap is I have nothing against Funko. I like Funko Pops. I'm still going to collect Funko Obviously. Pops. My problem is Funko Pop and Funko picking the companies they do business with and not having those companies educate their employees well right. enough. And I worked in retail, as a lot of uh, <coughs> trolls out there uh, want to pretend that I didn't say that in my original co video. When, I, when we worked retail back in the late 90s, early 2000s, you had to know everything that was sold in your store. And if you didn't know, you had to know somebody that knew it. Not for anything, though, but... We went to clothes the other day. You, started, you thought it was a game. You started to want to ask everybody, did anybody know what a Funko Pop was? No. Only two girls, but they... Actually, I don't even think they understood what yeah, it was. Yeah, they're like, it's around Christmas time, and was it wasn't even... It's it comes around Christmas time. What what Funko Pop? What comes around what? Christmas time? So anyway, uh, I think most people know about my frustrations with Walgreens, but Lewis seems to have started collecting, and every store the lucky son of a gun gets goes into... Has all the exclusives. He must live in a elderly area or something where they don't. Is he from Florida? Uh, it says Miami. I know he's in Florida. I guess Miami. I gotta go down to Miami. Hit up those uh, exclusive uh, stores. Uh, but he picked me up from the Marvel line. It's number 152. It's the Walgreens exclusive Spider Gwen Unmasked. That's pretty cool. There you go. There's Spider Gwen Unmasked. The Walgreens exclusive. Thanks again, Lewis. And, you know, and this is the sad thing, and this is what my point was about Funko. It's sad that I live in New York, and the only way I can get my hands on a Walgreens, which there are like, what, 12 or 13 on the island, and I've been to all of them. And then I was on a bunch on Staten Island when I went there for work. Pennsylvania. We've been Pennsylvania. Um, the fact that someone from Miami, Florida has to send it up to me is sad. And it probably costs more in shipping than it actually does cost for the actual pop. That's my point about Funko. So there we go. There she is out of her box. Looking pretty cool. I like that with the mask. She's got the mask off there. Hood still on. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. So I got the Spider Gwen unmasked from my buddy there, Lewis, over at iSpy0099. Go check him out. Go sub his channel. The link will be below. That's pretty cool. Thanks so much, Lewis. Thank you for the other little uh, goodies, too, for the girls. All the girls. Thank you. And for myself, too. My Batman cool little keychain. I'll be rocking that. Thank you, Lewis. Thanks again. You'd have to send this, but I greatly appreciate it. And uh, let me know. You know, email me. I know you, you know you have my email and everything. Let me know if there's any that you haven't found. This seems like that's not happening. You seem to be finding all of them. Uh, I got to tell you, I get a little... Uh, I watch your videos, and I'm like, son of a... Oh, I mean, if you haven't watched this video, go watch his Funko Pop videos now. He you, literally went out to Walgreens and got, in one day, all four. I haven't been able to find one. <laughs> I have one now. I know. And then I ordered two from Pop Club. I had to get those from Australia. Right. Do we see a problem here? This is my point. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments below. Remember to like and share this video. Hit up the red subscribe button that gives you notifications of our videos and helps us grow and we greatly appreciate your support. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Everyday Geek TV. At Everyday Geek TV. Thanks guys. Adios. Bye. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. You gonna rock that in Disney? Mm -hmm. You gonna show Tinkerbell? Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll be down Disney. How far is Miami from Orlando? It's far. I'll go pop. in the middle of the state. Miami said that. Listen, end of the state. I've been to Florida six times. Every time I go, I'm in Orlando. Listen, I saved us so much money on our flight. I'll go down and meet Lewis. We'll we do a pop, Funko Pop hunt. Go take a trip to Miami. Lewis, let's hook up. We'll do a, a Funko Just Pop hunt down go there. Go near South Beach. Why? What's South Beach? <laughs> exactly. Get mommy. This is why I only let you go to Orlando. What they won't know won't hurt them. Mommy. What? That will be edited out. Ha ha ha!